Hey guys, before this video starts, I just want to say that earlier this month in March, I released St. Patrick's Day limited edition merch. And well, as you can see right here, here is the merchandise right here. We got some joggers right here where it says St. Patrick's Day on the side. Looks very nice. This is the lime version. We also have the emerald version right here which is a more darker green with the joggers. We also have the emerald t-shirt right here, which has Happy St. Patrick's Day on the back right there. We also have the emerald sweatshirt, which has some four leaf clovers hanging out the pockets. And then we also have the lime hoodie right here with the same clovers. And yeah, just overall like a nice lighter version of it. And then we also have the lime t-shirt, which is honestly one of my favorites. Looks very sick. So yeah, please look at this limited edition St. Patrick's Day merch while it lasts. Uh, it won't be long until it's gone. I believe a little bit before the April Fool's Day, I'll take this off sale. So yeah, or who knows? Maybe I'll take it off this Friday since I believe St. Patrick's Day is on the 17th. I might be wrong on that though. Yeah, anyways, enjoy the video. In today's video, we are actually going over a confirmed car list that is coming in the next Greenville update, which is actually coming in a few days, I believe. Now, if you guys are wondering how I got this, well, uh, big thanks to the developers for letting me make this video, and um, big thanks for uh, the developers for giving me confirmation on which cars are being added and which are not. So, yeah, anyways, I have a list of almost 30 cars that are coming in this update that I'm able to share with you guys and included images as well. So, yeah, very exciting stuff to go over today, and I hope you guys are excited. I'm kind of making this video to raise update hype because this update is going to be a good one and i'm so excited even the creator of greenville himself told me he's excited and well, obviously i'm excited because the second gen and the s2000 is coming one of my two favorite cars that have been wanting to come for greenville for a while i know the s2k is already in greenville but it is probably the car in greenville that has needed the refresh like the most like it just kind of looks like junk but yes yeah, so that's very exciting so yeah uh, i believe without further ado let's just get onto this list so first on the list we obviously have the second gen so right here as you can see we have trims right there and then uh there's also a uh, six by six which i don't even know if that's public yet but yeah here's a six by six uh single cab and extended cab six by six second gem which will not be coming in this update i believe but the rest of the trims you see here will be as well as some 3500 and 2500 so i'm excited for that next up we have the buick gnx this thing's my baby i absolutely love it so much so yeah uh very excited for the buick gnx to be added we got a black one here and uh yeah so this will be added this update another thing in the update that will be added is the datsun 240 this thing's absolutely amazing and i'm excited to see how this thing sounds because i didn't actually do sounds for this and well uh if hunter lets me i might do sounds for this but six stuff so far and our next one is is actually the monte carlo as you can see uh similar to the gnx the monte carlo is a nice car so nice and i did the sounds for these and well uh, sounds so good i can't wait for you guys to hear it so yeah absolutely love this model i'm excited for it to be added we also have this honda crv here which is actually a refresh i believe and well it's one of the most detailed hondas i've ever seen like hunter was showing me like up close to the model it's crazy i believe ivy did it so uh good job on ivy for the model absolutely insane model i love it so much and uh another thing that will be added in the update is the fire truck i did sounds for these and well excited to hear your i615 engine uh, so excited i know sal's will be excited to uh, abuse that engine and do a bunch of burnouts but yeah very sick looking truck and i'm very excited for it to be added in this update as well as the fire station which i went over a few videos ago and then something right here that will be added is a 2008 350z oh this trim in the back looks so sick i'm so excited for this to be added i'll definitely be doing burnouts in some of these who knows maybe i'll buy one in the roleplay series because I really like it, but I honestly doubt it. We'll see, though. And uh, speaking of the roleplay series, the S2000. Oh, my gosh. Getting refreshed. I did a video on this if you guys want to see. So, yeah, it is being added in this update. It is confirmed. So, yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. So excited. So, yeah. And then moving on to the next car being added is the Cobalt right here. Oh, yeah. We got the Cobalt SS as well and some normal Cobalt. So excited for this to be added. Especially the SS. I'm excited to hear how it sounds and stuff. I did supercharger sounds for it, but Hunter said they were bad because I literally submitted my voice as the supercharger sounds. I'm not joking so obviously he declined another car is this golf right here that's going to be added very excited for this this looks absolutely amazing i know people like luxury and a bunch of volkswagen fans are going to be excited for this so yeah this will be added i'm so excited looks absolutely amazing next thing that'll be added is the fj cruiser refresh Woo! that red one back there absolutely looks sick and a bunch of the color maps ones i really like how that looks honestly another car that was converted to being added is the colon and refresh Ooh, so excited for the colon and refresh because the current one uh it's good but like this looks amazing honestly so yeah very excited i probably won't be buying it it, since i believe this one's a million and then the rest are like obviously expensive because they're rolls royces but anyway the next car being added in the update right here is the audi q5 the q5 sport back the sq5 and the sq5 sport back oh my goodness this thing looks absolutely amazing i'm very excited for it to be added even though i probably won't be driving it because i'm not an audi driver and i hate audi drivers and me and racer both know that we hate audi drivers but it does have sequential turn signals just like all the audis in the game pretty much right here is that he's just the one of the mercedes suvs being added i don't even know if this is in future updates yet but uh yeah this is this is going to be added, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's a teaser in game. So, yeah, it looks very nice. Right here is the 2022 Maserati Levante Base Hybrid Modena Modena S Trofeo and Trofeo Champ, modeled by Cade. 
oh my goodness i'm so excited for this to be added because well uh i don't know just look at this italian one this looks absolutely sick this is a, i think that's the trofeo champ trim absolutely looks amazing i honestly might buy it because it looks sick it would be a good lamborghini urus uh replacement or even a dodge durango replacement i don't know we'll have to see but yeah in game right now i do have the durango which is got my sports suv and my urus so if i could get a replacement for those this would be a very good choice another car being added in the update right here is the porsche make and base s and gts this looks sick this could be a replacement i don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see the battle of the sports suvs you know moving on we have this volkswagen atlas uh funny story real quick while i was driving in my mustang today in real life uh there was a volkswagen atlas following me so i uh, sped off a little bit and uh a few minutes later, it was right behind me again, and I was terrified because I don't know how the Volkswagen at last could reach the speeds. That, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was it was weird. But yeah, I think I was being stalked. But anyway, yeah, here it is. I love the one with the ski box. Might be buying that honestly, but I'm probably not. I don't know. I don't really buy Volkswagen in Greenville. Next one right here is a super cool one. The freaking AMG GT four door. This thing is an absolute boat. Another thing coming right here is this Volkswagen Arteon. I believe that's how you pronounce it, unless I'm stupid. But yeah, it's remodeled, and uh, it was done by NX, which is a contributor I haven't actually heard about in Greenville. Next up, we have the 2022 Nissan Rogue, which will be added, modeled by Mahin Star. I can tell, definitely, because this is one of the SUVs that Mahin Star would definitely model. And yeah, it looks pretty sick. Not excited for one of these to be uh, kind of uh, raging at me, though. So Next up right here is the remodeled 2021 Ford Escape. Very excited for this to be added. I believe this model was leaked a little bit ago. Is that why it's remodeled? Unless I'm dumb, and that was a really old Escape. Unless I wasn't even a Ford escape but uh yeah i remember there was a leaked model like this so i think that's why it was remodeled unless i'm dumb and this is like second rate model but i'm not sure but anyway our next car is the 2017 subaru legacy base uh premium sport limited and the limited 3.6 r next car that's confirmed to be added is the uh 2022 neo wellina i don't know et770 kwh and 150 kwh uh premier edition so yeah these are uh electrics obviously oh yeah modeled by blizzard looks pretty nice honestly I'm very excited for this to be added because uh it kind of reminds me of the colt and that was a sleeper so if this is a sleeper i'm gonna be pretty excited for that and next car being added is the 2022 nissan armada very excited for this to be added uh not much to be said about this then we have the remodeled 2022 chrysler Pacific Pacifica. Oh, yeah. This thing looks nice, honestly. I'm very excited for that black one there. Looks so sick, honestly. And then uh, next up, we also have the remodeled Lincoln Continental right here. This thing looks sick, honestly. A new tune, improved lighting, and additional trims added. Uh, we got the base, the reserve, the black label, and the coach build concept. I'm excited for the black label. I just love blacked out cars so much, guys. Absolutely so sick. And then uh, right here, we have the Volvo S80 3.2. This thing looks sick, honestly. I really enjoy the look of this thing. Uh, not much to be said about it, but this black one here has so such a sick front end it's like og but also like kind of modern ish if you know what i mean and then last thing on the list is the x4 right here it's either not loaded in fully or it's not even imported into roblox fully but uh one of the devs just sent me this so yeah so this uh, looks excited for that to be added and well yeah now that that hefty list is done that is all the cars that i know so far that will be added to greenville in this update that's coming out in a few days so yeah guys be hyped for it and yeah guys let me know which uh car is your favorite that i went over today and uh which one that you kind of don't want to be added to the game i don't know just i don't know just have some conversation in the comments i feel like you'd be funny to read on a saturday night so yeah uh but anyway guys uh that's me hope you guys enjoyed and uh i'll see you guys in the next one